Hey guys, Sports Gaming Fever here, back again with another episode of Initial 14 Live the Life Mode with the tea drinking, Shakespeare loving Brit in Checkmate. That's right, guys, we're back with the 6'9, 240 pounder here in episode 2, playing some more CHL games as he's about to hit the ice in his second game in the London Knights uniform, and it should be a good one. Uh, and we're also going to touch base on some other games in his CHL career in this round robin. We're very excited uh, to play in his second game here. Um, so I'm not going to be doing too much play-by-play. -play. I'm more going to be talking about my experience playing Live the Life. Um, as with uh, Checkmate, obviously, in the background here in his CHL games. He's definitely a hard hitter. Hitting is so fun. And it's... Um, yeah, it just not only fun to do in Live the Life, just in NHL 14 in general, it is fun to hit. Uh, the hits look so good. And I talked a little bit more about the hit in uh, my NHL 14 at a glance hitting and fighting video. Uh, if you go to my channel, you can see that, and I do a, a little bit of a review of that mechanic. And it's just, it's just so fun to do. Uh, and yeah, as you can see there, just another huge hit by Checkmate. Um, Chuck Mate. So uh, there, he actually uh, hit the guy. It was a pretty big hit. So uh, the opposing player is gonna get mad at Checkmate, and that's a bad thing to do. He's going up a guy six nine, two hundred forty pounds. He hasn't won a fight yet, though. Uh, so he's zero for two at the moment. But can he go? Yes, he gets his first win, and that's Checkmate number three, guys. In this very young series here as he gets the crowd pumped up after winning that one just see the, the huge hit and then the response by so obviously, so obviously yeah, 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 win that, that fight gets, uh, gets the crowd pumped up gets some momentum for his team uh, but he will be in the box for five minutes <laughs> look at that ugly face too oh god uh, so here he, he's getting really aggressive in this game he's actually gonna hit a guy from behind and he's going to get challenged to another fight. So that's checkmate number four for injuring someone pretty badly there too. And he's going to get into a f another fight. So can he make it a uh, double point play, double checkmate play? And yes, check and mate. But he's also going to get a game misconduct for that hit. <laughs> oh my god, his face. With the uh, black eye, all the blood around, it, uh, around his mouth and nose. Jesus. Uh, but you know that's the reputation he has he's obviously trying to help out his team offensively and defensively But he won't be able to in this game as he gets a game misconduct And uh, so actually the opposing team would go on to win the game But uh, we go on to our third game here in the CHL with checkmate And uh, he's not really making the plays he needs to he's actually gonna get interference there being a bit too aggressive maybe getting some uh, frustrated and his teammates actually going to get into a fight. So an all new thing this year is that you're actually going to see your teammates get into fights. The AI players. Which is great. I remember playing Be A Pro uh, last year in NHL 13. And this never happened. You were the only one who was able to fight from your own team. Uh, so that's pretty cool. That's definitely cool to see. Um, but of course our teammate does not win the fight here we go checkmate coming all the way down from the opposite red line he's just gonna barrel through an opposing player there uh, no penalty for charging and uh, there he's actually gonna take a shot after the whistle and get into another fight so he's looking for a sixth checkmate third of the game uh, can he get it no he could not actually that would have been his fourth checkmate of the game my bad but still Almost, uh, but he ends up losing the fight here. So he's trying to get his team to uh, get the goal going ahead here midway through the second. Can't do that. There, here at the end of the second, has a great opportunity off the iron. And um, so it will remain tied going into the third. So actually, Checkmate gives up the puck. He's going to have to come back, and that's a goal. Uh, so Checkmate obviously not really happy about that. I guess I said I would be just not really commenting on the gameplay, but more talking about my experience, I've done kind of both here, so uh, sorry about that. But anyway, yeah, so they're now down 1-0, the London Knights are here, 
in a do or die situation if they lose they they're knocked out of the tournament so they definitely need to come back here and win and that's a bad time for checkmate to be uh, getting another penalty in this game his discipline definitely needs to change he's just getting sucked into those bad penalties there is a huge hit though it, it, the hits really give your team momentum and give them an edge so he always tries and there's just an unlucky bounce for checkmate it actually goes off of his skate as you will see in the replay and he is frustrated about that just not having a good past two games at all really downhill since he got his first goal in the first game in episode one this is the perfect view here you can just see it kicks off his skate squeaks back the by the goaltender that's just unlucky so he's trying to get his team back in the game now it's three nothing and it's very late in the third now his teammate does get a goal here uh, but there's only 43 seconds left. Nothing's going to get done there. But it is the pre-draft interview time. So I'm just fast-forwarding through this as uh, it took me a while to get through it because I was uh, carefully reading. But here we go. So we get the Toronto Maple Leafs looking at us. So we're trying to answer those questions as professionally as possible and as honestly to what I think Checkmate, how he would answer. I So and we also got the Habs looking at us. So from Quebec... They're looking at us too, and also Nashville is looking at us. So uh, we're actually going to hop right into the draft here, and you're going to see who drafts. Checkmate. Who's going to draft the Brit, the tea-drinking, the Shakespeare-loving Brit? Who will it be? Well, we go all the way through the first round, and no one picks us. So we're going to skip all the way to the sixth round, and we get picked up by Nashville. And we're going to get to answer a question from the uh, minor league team in just a second here, uh, the AHL team. So anyway, guys, we uh, get our contract, and it's looking good. So if you guys enjoying the series, like and subscribe. Anyway, guys, I'll see you later.